And you might not be getting paid for playing 15 minutes before the service or half an hour before the service. But it's okay. Here's a church member that I promise you that means this will be very good when that most of you are in town. This is not what we're talking about. But this guy will not sit at that level. He'll, be, he'll stay there all the time for He will not say that he will until it's time for the sermon and the, his pastor is at the door right for the second. He believes that, well, he's just a good talent. He believes that when the pastor starts the procession from the door, that's when he plays his way. No, that's me. That's me. Good God. Good God. Good God. That's me. So he's there all he doesn't come like we do but he will not touch it here. He will not touch it until the pastor comes around. He said a little bit. He said, oh, there are people there. We need to get there at least an hour before the service. People start coming, especially those who want to be a good seat. They start coming sometimes an hour before the service. Or at least a half an hour before the service. Like, well, there are some that are an hour after the service and all that. I do a fifth. So there are people that are here before him. You should be sending a movie from the phone at that time. Let me know. Let's create an atmosphere. It's okay to pray before the sun. I even believe that the church is going to talk about that. No. That's what I'm saying for a long time. Don't come in your music during the sun. Don't come in your music during the sun. <laughs> you should have a door to go play before you get there. You should have it somewhere in your mind. Now, if you actually have to, if you have to, I know the service I did, um, you can see it. But people are all over, all over, all in, back and everything. You know what I'm saying? And the musician, they didn't stop playing what they had planned because I guess it, the, the, uh, the session was so wild. Now they have to get extra the music. So what did they do? They stopped Stop. writing. Mm -hmm. They went to the hymn book. They're reading the hymn book. Are you kidding me? They're like, I mean, one of the times I try not to do this, but it's just so frustrating when I have something to practice for. I either walk over and call someone else, and I tell them, play something. It's almost like maybe I have a little land here, and you know, Jane a little bit. That shows you how much I care about it. What do you think? It doesn't matter what it is. Play something. At that point, if you have to open up the bed, this can be always confident. So, you can find something to play. Do that with one hand and play with the other hand. Exactly. Okay, so don't. Yeah. <laughs> don't stop it like that. And then communicate with the fire, but come on, something, something. You don't know how many times I've been tempted to smoke it myself. And I really, but it get on like embarrassing people. But I have, I have to fight because I know it's not all the way down the But I'm going to be positioned. I'm not going to be the one who's got my own specimen. But I'm going to be positioned. I just don't, you don't have the knowledge. You don't have enough. Well, you need to be You make it circumstances where that may have to change. You may have to add more music or whatever. That's fine. But again, you have to go that way, find something, or you have to talk to the final director or whomever. Play with one hand, you might turn with the other. Always play. Play from play. Again, if you have any questions, just let me know. Or comments. Um, Good question. Uh, number one, <coughs> a few times a day, very few times. I get so far up with what I'm doing that I could get in a myself or something in myself. Because I realized I could spend 30 seconds of breakfast before it started. Um, I will say that I have said something to, to some, and they learned from that part and never did it again. I said something 
elements, and they, they receive what I'm saying, but then they forget the next time as well. So um, I really, my plan is to make up, actually, take um, what I gave you today, and kind of make a little fat one out of it, and give it to you. And, and this, and this, and this, and that. Again, I don't want to offend anyone. If I'm going to, I'm going to have fun. Uh, I don't have any issues. So, again, a lot of people feel like it's what I'm saying. You know, the kid does his thing, and the music does his thing, and the other record does his thing, and they don't feel you know, it. You know, but, but that is part of my life. Because when I'm standing up in front of the cat, I'm going to close on the cat's and, and I'm kind of going to tell myself now that the musician stops or the choir stop because of the last person in the I still have to close that gap. That's the that's hardest the part. That's why I mentioned my own experience earlier. That's the hardest part of who I ever have to go through. Ever. Trust me. Closing that casket, I've seen that casket close. There is no worse experience in life than that. Other than maybe the initial person. I feel that's a lot. They need to get to that moment or any other time. That's exclusive. I can't even, I don't even know the word to describe how exclusive in my heart. They need to use it that time. You never have a play again on something at that moment. So I'll say, like, I can't get my son to that house because at that time I can't leave. You know, you know, I have two or three or four hundred people up with me. So sometimes I'll do this to the choir record. You got your eye. The musician, I'm just doing like that. Sometimes you right. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, yeah. uh, the same musicians, you have a clear the uh, no expectations, or, and do you pay the musicians all the It depends on circumstances. I don't pay any of the same I'm not saying uh, usually uh, Sometimes you will know, use a lot of the on the or they may not even have the church, and then now all of a sudden family and sister go to a church. We said that last week. But anyway, it was sweet. But um in a case like that, if I if I I do this minister means the same thing. If the family has me to get one I can in fact. Um but in most cases church one. So that goes to me. Yeah, that's with the musician and the family for which they are serving. Mm -hmm. So in, in order to overcome that sometimes, it's very helpful if you have like a list of songs that may be appropriate at different times. Um, I was at a church long enough to have about seven or eight books of music. And I would also take notes so that if I wasn't there and I had to pay somebody to fill in, here are the songs, and these are the keys that they sing with. Mm -hmm. And as long as you do it that way, <laughs> then, then you're good. So you might even consider in your pamphlet to the musicians and to the pastors, maybe having a suggested list of songs that may be appropriate 
for a different period. So that not everybody knows what to play when, you know, at certain parts of the film. So for example, when they're closing the castle, like, oh, oh no, what do I do? So that might be, you know, something that you might suggest, like, I love the Lord who heard my cry, or something very soft, you know, and, and when they're exiting out, you know, you know, victory is mine, is always good, you know, but you, if there are certain songs that you don't want to play at certain times either, and that comes with the anointing, uh -huh. and it, you can't, you can't second guess the power of the Holy Spirit in any of those services, so... That might be something that may help you as well as you're trying to communicate with uh, people in the area. That's um, what I, I know what you said. Yes. 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 I was going to ask you, do you, when you as a family, uh, do you ask them if they have specific songs that they want or, uh, you know, because I know a lot of times uh, different congregations have different protocols for what they, how their mm -hmm. services flow. And if the family is not a part of the church, the family may say, I want to take it to the end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and do they make those requests? Is that, is that a service that you offer as part of your package to ask what the music should be? I don't ask, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't ask, however, a lot of families offer. Particularly if they, know that if they ask me to give me a piece of form, they say, can I give a request? Can I give a request? Can I give a request? Sure. And then I try to get to the music before it. Now I'm going to get some. Oh, by the way, you're on the way. No, no, no. You know, I'll text it to him. Hey, tell me what you're playing. Well, let me see if they can have a chance to get to it. But I don't have to get to it. But I don't know. And sometimes you get it just on the water. So when you can't be kind of bringing the water, so it's all right. It's probably all right. It is when we have what we call chapel churches, funerals, and all that funerals. Now, every now and then we get up in the middle of church, because I have some kind of faithful to go to the church, but I think I have a lot of So, but if I go to a church and establish fear with you know music and past and all that, I really don't get along unless I'm asking. We will play. Yeah, it's just that's a reason. And I'm not saying one way is right or one way is wrong. My my main thing, but when you pay me, when you go to play, you want to get paid for it.
favorite song. Let's get it on. Thank you. 